Hello and welcome back. I'm Willow Grace. Thank you for joining me as we take a look ahead at your astrology forecast for the month of February. Now, before we begin, start talking about astrology. If you're interested in working with me, you can visit my webpage to schedule a tarot and astrology consultation. You can also learn and participate by signing up for one of my classes, workshops, or free webinars. If you would like to receive your monthly astrology update by email, you can sign up for it at willowgracemystic.com or look in the link below. If you'd like to receive these updates as soon as they come out, please hit the like and subscribe button to the channel below. Now let's dive in. Pisces. The energy of the month is going to be flavored by Capricorn and Pisces. And Capricorn for you is in your 11th house and Pisces is in your 12th house. So let's break it down. Capricorn, slow, steady, methodical, ambitious, wants to build things that last over a longer period of time. Aquarius, shock, surprise, uh, come up with a new way to do something. Uh, think about the group, not of just one, but be unique, be eccentric. Um, so the 11th house for you is your friends, your social circles, groups that you join, work groups that you join, spiritual aspirations, and your 12th house for you is fear, your dreams, hidden supports, karma, meditation, the house of inner work. So those two areas are going to, they have a stellium in each. So that the, the, the energy is going to be focused mainly for that for February. So we just ended Venus in retrograde. It started back in uh, November, went all through, I'm sorry, December. It went all through January, ended on January 29th. And now we're in the post where we untangle some things. So you had, you have Venus in your 11th house. It is transiting your 11th house. So that means you are taking a second look at friends, groups that you belong to, social circles that you belong to. It could be um, Facebook groups. It could be actual groups that you belong to and say, I think I've outgrown this. I think I no longer feel a connection to these people. I, I don't feel a connection to this group or this club. And so I need to move on. I, I, have, I, I need to change it. And so that's what Venus is doing to you. And now it's you looking for something new that will fill that void because whenever you clear out old, it creates an opportunity for new. Now, Mercury is still stationed retrograde, started retrograde in January, and it will be in retrograde until February 4th. But then there's the shadow period of it afterwards. So Mercury is also in your 11th house. And for you, again, friends, social circles, uh, work groups. And so Mercury is all forms of communication, email, phone, text, written. And it's also technology, uh, technology but it's also travel. And so uh, car, plane, train, boat, all those things, technology, computers, cell phones, there's a intentional muck up or slowdown of. I've written about it on a blog. If you'd like to go to my website, I like to work with a planet when it goes retrograde. I leave myself time for the slowdown that it causes. Uh, do I enjoy them all? No. But Mercury for you is in your 11th house saying, maybe there were um, miscommunication between you and a friend or between you and a group. Or maybe you, it was through an email or a text, or it could be through technology, but it's having you revisit this and then you'll untangle it the weeks, that, the two weeks that follow afterwards. Then the sun is in the sign of Aquarius. And for you, this is illuminating and brightening your 12th house. The sun is saying, hey, take a look at my mental and spiritual, um, my karma, my secrets, it's illuminating things that you like to keep private. And the new moon is going to be right there with it. Now, new moons are times of planting a seed, fresh starts, new beginnings, clean slate. So starting a clean slate, you have, you're done with the karma, you've, you've, you've worked through that energy. And so now start anew. And so you've got Saturn there between the two and Saturn says, whatever you plan on starting, it has to be, I need to be able to build with it. 
uh, I need to be able to, um, it's a slow and steady, it needs to be solid, the foundation has to be good in order to move forward with this new moon intention. So this is you working past whatever karma that you were working with, and time that you've taken to heal on the inside, and now coming out um, with new. This was probably a forced slowdown. Remember the 12th house is, um, hmm, it could be prison or jail. It could be uh, rehab. It could be, it's anything that uh, you have taken time and said, I'm going to take time out for this. It could also mean going away to a retreat. So it's not always a negative. I try to look at the positive and the negative to determine what energy I'm working with. Then on February 16th, you're going to have a full moon in the sign of Leo. This is going to be in your sixth house. And for you, the sixth house is daily work, health, service to others, and pets. So there was something that you started six months ago, and it's in the sign of Leo. Leo is pride and ambitious and confident and proud. And full moons illuminate things that were once hidden, that we didn't see, it, we were unsure about it. And so you worked through this last six months with this energy, and now something is going to come to an end. It could be a workout routine. It could be a job. It could be combining um, a, a new health service, a new routine. This could be something that you were doing is now going to come to an end. And now it's time to say, you know, this is just not sustainable. I can't go to this gym. It's just way too far away. Or I can't go to this yoga studio. I, I just, I don't click with that energy. I, I want to do something new. I want to start something here. I want to find something. There's going to be some kind of an ending in order for new beginnings to transpire. Then on February 17th to the 21st. I love this. Jupiter is going to sextile Uranus. Jupiter is the gaseous planet of expansion. It's the gift of the Zodiac. It's the Santa Claus. It brings, uh, this is a sextile is a harmonious aspect and Uranus is the planet of shock, surprise, and uh, non-conformity and um innovation, intuition, expansive energy. And so together, these are going to connect for gifts, blessings, and opportunities. And so the dates are 17th to the 21st. Now, some will feel it before and some will feel it afterwards. But during this time period, you have two houses, your house of self and your third house of siblings close to home and communication and communication and um neighbors and uh, written and maybe taking classes that are close to home. So Jupiter, expansive, shock, surprise, intuition. What are you changing about yourself? How you come out to the world, how people see you in the world. And um, this will be um, possibly a shock to some neighbors and some relatives that are close. And this could, maybe you're taking a, a workshop or a class, or maybe you're writing or journaling about something, but this is definitely connecting to you, how you present yourself, how other people see you, and how you're going to be known. Then on the 18th, the sun is going to enter Pisces. This is your first house of self. So this is showing this is who I want to be known as. This is who I'm coming out into the world as. I want to be known as a grandmother. I'm ready to be known as a counselor. I want to, this could be your physical appearance. Maybe you're going to uh, exercise and get in shape or, or maybe you're going to give up cigarettes. I don't know what it is, but it's about you and shock and surprise and the sun illuminating those things all about your personal appearance, how you come out and people see you in the world. Then on the 24th, all energy is now going to start moving forward because we will have no personal planets in retrograde or in the shadow. And so now all energy is going to move forward with ease and grace.
Thank you for listening and watching this video. If you would like to receive updates as soon as they come out, please hit the like and subscribe button below and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you share this with your friends who you think might be able to benefit from this information. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram where I host live updates. And you can also receive my astrology updates by email in a newsletter. You can visit willowgracemystic.com or click in the link below. I would love to hear your thoughts on how this energy is manifesting with you in your life in the comments below. I heart you.